Dana Sherney was always a shy, introverted little girl, reaching most milestones. But when she was not talking, her parents became concerned. This led to Dana enrolling in various therapies and special education classes where she excelled. Still, something was just not right. It was at age 11 when her parents' fears were confirmed. Dana was diagnosed with autism. Like all parents, they began flashing forward to her teenage years, to her adulthood, and the years when they would no longer be there to care for Dana. Yet with all of the unknowns, will my daughter have friends? Will she go to college, get and maintain a job? Will she get married and maybe even have her own family? They still found strength in God and in each other that Dana would be loved and that this love would carry her through life. Dana would live a typical childhood growing up in a two-parent family with siblings, friends, and extracurricular activities such as Girl Scouts. She would win two crowns, one for Miss Warrensville Heights and the other for High School Homecoming Queen. She had friends, not a lot, but someone always took an interest in Dana. Dana successfully graduated from high school and enrolled in Cuyahoga Community College. As her life was blossoming and Dana was growing into a beautiful young woman, going to college and meeting the man she would marry this coming November, she still felt a sadness in her heart for those with autism, especially children. Her persistence and a passion led to two very important lifelong achievements, a desire to have a good job and live outside of her parents' home, and her desire to help children and others with autism, founding Breakthrough Autism a mentoring, educational, interactive website for children and youth with autism. Dana found new strength and new skills at Cornucopia Incorporated, the local nonprofit agency whose mission is to help people with disabilities develop their skills, confidence, and workplace potential. Cornucopia started in 1975 with a dream of a store where people with disabilities could learn real work skills in a real work setting. Founded by Ann and Brian Daw, a little storefront named The Bin was opened as a fresh fruit and vegetable market. The dream was to establish a program to help people with disabilities prepare for employment at a competitive level. First met Dana Sherney here on the west side at Eliza Jennings a Nursing Home and where we have a training program. We placed her at our Jennings Center for Older Adults in Garfield Heights where we also have another community-based training program. There she really seemed to flourish. From there, um, we successfully placed her at Embassy Suites where she currently is still working more than 32 hours a week, almost full time. I think what sets Dana apart is her tenacity and her, her willingness not to give up. Uh, a lot of people through, through trials and tribulations and challenges with or without disabilities, especially in this job economy, uh, it's very difficult to get back up on your feet and, and get back out there and, and continue to try to do her very best. And clearly she's done that in succeeding at what she's currently doing and also really advocating for people with disabilities, specifically people with autism. Dana was the perfect candidate for these programs and has worked at three of Cornucopia's community-based training sites including Embassy Suites, where she's currently employed as a suite keeper. Dana has an awesome support system. Her mother, her sister, her I mean, like, she has an awesome support system, but yet and still she felt isolated and alone. And so when she, um, you know, came up with this idea to have this website, I mean, she kind of told me the steps along the way, which I was pretty impressed with that she was like, you know, I came up with this idea um, for, you know, children to have a voice. And um, she said, I'm working with somebody on a website. Today, Dana is enjoying life to the fullest. She's in love, recently moved into a new apartment near her work, and she is planning her wedding. She's able to live on her own now and then to be getting married in November and um, too soon to be a wife. This is just a really exciting time for Dana. She's the ultimate example that being a person with a disability does not mean that life is meaningless. In fact, her life is as big and bright as her heart and her future is sure to be an adventure. 
The Ark of Greater Cleveland is proud to present the 2012 Excellence in Self-Advocacy Award to Dana Sherney. We give it to her tonight with deep respect for her and for all of those lives she has touched with her love and commitment to make the world a better place. And if